Hi, and welcome to Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Nick Johansson with your top stories from this past week. Snow fell hard across the Okanagan this week, causing treacherous driving conditions while growing the snow base at local ski resorts. The snow began at the valley bottom Monday evening, causing crashes across the region. The snow returned near the end of the week, and a serious crash Friday morning in Lake Country claimed the life of a 26-year-old man. Remembrance Day was held on Wednesday, but the sacrifices of those who fought for Canada were honored a bit differently this year due to the COVID pandemic. The annual Remembrance Day ceremonies at Kelowna City Park and Rutland's Lions Park were cancelled this year, but residents could honor veterans on their own at City Park's Field of Crosses. Vernon held a small socially distanced ceremony. We were prepared uh, during the summer thinking about, okay, how are we going to do this? And it just made sense to come back to the Cenotaph, uh, open air, and, you know, where we need to pay our respects to our veterans. Overnight Tuesday, Kelowna City Hall was vandalized for the second time in less than a month, with messages about Remembrance Day and opposition to the restrictions in place to reduce the spread of COVID-19. Mayor Colin Bazran said the repeated graffiti has been frustrating and expensive for taxpayers. Crime Stoppers has put forward a $1,500 reward for anyone who has information about the graffiti that leads to an arrest. One of the four people charged with the killing of Issa Carrier on Canada Day 2018 pleaded guilty Monday, the day the man was set to begin trial. The person, who can't be named because they were 17 years old at the time of the killing, pleaded guilty to manslaughter and will face sentencing in January. A second person, who is also 17, remains before the court on the manslaughter charge, while 28-year-old Nathan Truant and 22-year-old Noah Vatten are scheduled to begin trial for the killing come February. The man who viciously beat a Kamloops teenager with a baseball bat in the early morning hours of June 16, 2016, was recently denied parole. Christopher Teichreib was sentenced to seven years in 2018 for the aggravated assault of Jesse Simpson, but with credit for time served, he was left with three years and eight months. Last month, he was denied both full and day parole after the parole board determined his release would present a risk to the community. He'll be eligible for statutory release next spring, though. That's it for this week's Week in Review. For Castanet News, I'm Nick Johansson.